Boom. What up? Solar Vernacular only here, back doing some more League of Legends action. Playing some Alawi up in the top lane. This is a champ that I've been picking quite a lot lately, actually. I pick Alawi into tanks. Basically, if it's a champion, I think I can land my Eon very eff effectively. Then I go Alawi. Well, I don't always go Alawi, but it's a good choice when I know I can land my E, basically. Oh, wow. He actually got the hit before I got an auto off. It's kind of surprising. Our right, level one, we don't really do much here. We're just kind of last hitting. He's going to get level two, so I'm going to walk away. We'll give him that if he wants it. All yours, my friend. I will spawn a new one. Uh, I'm going to take E right here. I normally don't like E second, but I feel like he's going to walk in a goofy way. That might let me hit it. Yep. Hit both of them. Your auto attacks give conk if you hit the uh, clone. It's pretty useful to know. Let's put another tentacle down. I'll give a quick rundown of the Lowy. See, the thing is, anytime he wants to run at me with E, that's when I'll be able to hit my E. Like, when he hits that little thing that he shot at me, if he runs up and autos me, he can stun me. So what I want to do is obviously press my E right before he gets to me. Like that. Then our W allows us to keep slamming. So we just, like, chunk this guy out severely. Let me just keep bullying. Not bad. Again. He's gonna have to flash here, but I don't think he can get out. Beautiful. Please don't take all my farm. My man, you got the goddamn kill. That shit pisses me off more than anything. You got the kill. Why do you steal all the farm? It's infuriating. They always do it too. It's crazy. I play jungle and I never do that. I literally, if I ever get the kill, I always give all the wave. I get all the minions super low and then I let you take the wave. Kind of ridiculous. What a jerk. I'm going to pop my potions and try and get this wave shoved in. Oh my god, dude. Auto W. Auto. Auto W the real one. Beautiful. If the real one ever shows up, you auto that one for sure. Because the real one takes full damage, the clone one does not take full damage. It takes partial damage. It's kind of hard to do more here because I just don't have mana to shove this wave in. Hmm. I don't. He didn't auto me out of the minion. I'm trying, but I can't really push fast enough. Yeah. I don't know, boys. I can't really shove this. I'm just going to leave. I, I have no mana to push the wave. Like, I can't get under tower. Oh, unless I get him to chase me like this. I can do this and just fight him. Nice. Now you can take the whole wave. <laughs> I don't care as much. Nice play. Because he's, he's stayed here for like an hour. You can take the whole wave at this point. He hid in that bush for like 10 minutes to make that play happen. That's a level of patience that most honestly most junglers don't have. It's a pretty good play. And then he used his flash to make it as well. Oh, I'm going to back up a little bit more just in case. I don't really think Lee Sin would dive me under tower, but you never know. He's checking every bush. Man, you're level 3. You might want to go farm. Look at this difference. You're getting destroyed right now. Okay, we're going to go like this. Going to TP back. Eh, going to not TP back up. Reasons being are two. One, the wave is going to slow push to me, so I should be less inclined to teleport when that's the situation. As long as my opponent can't clear all the wave and get it into tower before I get back by walking. So he's pushing. I'm going to lose... He's going to kill all these, and I'll lose, like, what? Maybe one more of these minions? Maybe this one dies? And then also, the other major factor is we saw Lee Sin right here, right? If we start our teleport, what's Lee going to do? He's probably going to stay and wait around. We've lost one minion, by the way. So was the teleport worth one minion? That's how you have to think about it. Too many people TP back on these plays where they really shouldn't. Oh, this might be bad. Uh, I kind of goofed. Uh, I'm okay. I just have no tentacles around, so it's kind of bad. Oh, nice. We just got to spawn some. It's 20 seconds, the CD. Uh, hmm. You see me kill that cannon minion? Big brain. Big brain. Big brain, dude. Galaxy brain on that play. I looked down at my EXP. I saw that cannon minion. Hold up. Q. Boom. Level up six. Ult that shit. Easy, baby. Woo. He tried to make an all-in play off of his level six. 
The first thing I thought of I was like, what the hell? I've been pushing the lane the whole time. How did he get level six before me? It's because I had that giant wave pushing, but that also means that I'm super close to leveling level six myself. So I look down at my EXP, I'm moving. I mean, he's gonna get slowed and die off of the slow. If he leaves the, oh my God, I killed him. Oh, played. <laughs> oh God. So yeah, I knew that him getting level six means mine must have been super close because I've been kind of winning lane here. We don't really want this play. We're just gonna walk away here. It's kind of unfortunate because I can't actually finish my item. That'd be a massive buy. He's gonna hold the wave like I can't. Um. I think I can get him. Gotta wait for Nocturne. He's gonna heal, obviously. Alright, sweet. We'll get that, and we just back here, and we can TP back to lane with our Black Cleaver. Sweet. But yeah, once we get level 6, I already had the E clone, so I had him and the E clone right next to each other. So we can press our ultimate. I'll go, I have to run through all the abilities. I always forget. It's like, I don't know. With these videos, I, I really don't. I should probably just do a quick rundown at the start of every video just to tell everybody what all the abilities are. But it's like, I want to talk about how the lane's going. So I kind of want to wait for like a lull in the action to really talk about like what my abilities do, you know? Because I assume most people know, but there's people out there that definitely don't. So, especially a lot not that normal of a champion. Or they fret, forget and need like a refresher. Or they're thinking about like old Alawi or something. Like slightly different abilities or whatever. All right, so we're really strong right now. We hit our major power spike. I'm kind of fine fighting this guy. I just need to spawn one tentacle. It, they spawn every 20 seconds while it goes lower once you... Oof, now I gotta be careful. Anytime you miss E back up, no bueno. This one is actually really bad because I can't spawn another tentacle on this wall because this one right here is blocking it. Ideally, I'd have a tentacle like right here, so I'd have two. Gotta be careful that he tries to CC me under tower. Yeah. Oh wow. I thought he was gonna chase forward. Kinda sucks. Oh! I thought he was gonna chase forward into that E. If he did, I was gonna win. Otherwise, I probably shouldn't have flashed. That's huge. Again, I wanna hit him instead of the clone if I can. So I aim the Q at him, obviously. I mean, I just spawn a new one immediately. Uh. They already used their stuff. I don't think this is that good of a play. Yeah. That's what I mean. They already used all their stuff. Like, what were they gonna do? It's like a level six Lee Sin. You a child! You a child! Easy. Looking for the play. Got the E on him. Dead. No? This guy's a survivor. It's alright. Look at the pressure you can put out on tanks. This is why I said I picked this against people who can't dodge E. Now if this was like a Renekton, even Renekton's kind of bad at dodging E. But something with like a dash, you know? That's a lot more mobile. Or just faster in general. Or like Vladimir who can pool. Like that type of stuff, you know what I mean? Oh, this is perfect usage. Right here is like the magic number. This is what I've been talking about on stream the last few days. My jungler in the last Twitch Rivals like drilled that into my head over and over again. Brother, I'm so massive, I'll 1v9. I'm not worried. Ooh, he made me dodge. Or made me miss. Alright, we can just bail here. Dragon's coming up. Yeah, but he drilled that play into my head, just getting the tower down to like right here before you summon Rift. Because these last plates... They, they get armor, they get more armor as it gets lower, so it becomes harder to hit as the tower gets less HP. So it's, and Shelly does true damage, but basically ignores how hard it is to hit, right? Like, look at it right now, it's got 160 armor. Now it's got 270. They're doing, like, no damage in each auto attack, whereas right now it's got 40 at full health, right? So obviously you want to use, hold on, let me get item. We'll do this, because I'm split pushing super hard, and I'll just go boot upgrade. 
Can't reduce the suppression, so it's probably just heavy. And wait on a pink ward. Hurry up. I don't have teleport here. <coughs> <coughs> Never walk out of E? No, 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 no. I'll explain that one. The way you want to play against Alawi E is if she has no tentacle around her, then it's fine. You can just sit there, let her tank it, because she doesn't do any damage. So if I don't have a tentacle near me, I can't get this W slams. Every time I W, I trigger the tentacle to slam, right? Nearby tentacles will slam, but look at right now. No tentacles are nearby, nothing slams on these minions when I press W. So it's like a whole different ball game. Your just damage is super low. The more tentacles around, the less likely you want to fight. Or the less inclined you should be to uh, fight. Because all of her strength comes with the tentacles. That's why you'll see an Alawi just stand near her one, right? She just sits there and camps that single tentacle, right? So if I'm trying to play this lane, I'm going to drop a tentacle here because it goes nearest wall that's available. And then I'll just play off of this tentacle. I'll just sit right here. So I'll defend it. If you try and fight me, I'll, you know, hit my E and go aggressive, all that shit, right? And then once it's about to come back up, my next one is be able to spawn. Then I start moving to my next location, right? I want to drop it on this corner now. So now I want to try and hit stuff in between because we get two tentacles slamming. So you should be less inclined to fight me because I have two tentacles right there ready to slam. If I land my E, my E clones you and it transfers damage. So right now it's transferring 60% of the damage. So if I hit clone and I'm hitting you, I'm doing 160% damage. That's why Lily Sin died super fast right here into just one tentacle. Because I hit E, I had one tentacle around, he just gets one shot. Now my ultimate spawns additional tentacles depending on how many targets are near or inside of the circle, right? And your clone that you hit on people count. So anytime I'm like all the way up here with like nothing, I need to be super careful. Because this is where I die when I don't have any tentacles around. Because it means I have to hit my E. If I hit my E, then I can, uh, there we go. If I hit my E, then I can actually gain tentacles because I can E and then I can R. But if I miss my E, I'm dead. Perfect. I'm gonna R right here. Oh, I might die before. Nah, we're good. <laughs> Welcome to Alawi. Oh, I missed it. I choked. Damn, they actually do a ton of damage, though. Whew. Oh, shit. Oh, I was too far. Let's keep popping potions. Scary. I don't want to die and give a shutdown. It's actually really important. <laughs> it's a lot of gold that they would get. Almost a thousand gold shutdown. All right. I'm going to pick up a little bit of magic resist because that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> actually, I could just do... Mm, I'm just going to stick with this, actually. I could I could have gotten like a hex drinker right there just to deal with this guy, but... I think I'll be all right. The main issue is I just get CC'd right there, so they get to do their whole damage on me. I had a nice setup. I hit the E, I'm next to one tentacle, so I already have a nice setup. I just have to press R. But it's, can they hunt to zero me before I can press R? Once I press R, immediately spawns up two additional tentacles because I have two things underneath me. It slams down and then it reduces my W cooldown by half. So I'm able to just spam W. And every time I W, nearby tentacles slam. And they do a bajillion damage and you get 5% healing. Tentacle slams right now, dealing 457 damage. So 457, pretty ridiculous. And then it heals for 5% of... Uh, Missing HP. Oh, what the hell? He's right here. Okay. Goodbye. Pop potion. Oh no, I don't have time warp tonic. Never mind. Again, hitting the real one. Ooh, what the hell? You crazy. Y'all crazy, dude. I'm way too good at this champion. Stop it. Oh, yeah. I forgot. You can ult flash. <laughs> so you can press your ult and then flash on top of the target you actually want to get on. It's really good for, like... It's really good for team fights, really. And surprise hits that people aren't ready for. Terrible. Oh, no. I'm going to back away from that pop potion. Just hoping he kind of walked into it. It'd be like a free kill. Otherwise, just leave. Want to bail? 
I want to reset before we do this. I do have teleport. We're alright. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. I'm just gonna get a pink. I don't wanna wait. Super strong. Goddamn. So yeah, again with the reflect damage, the important thing. Oh, I forgot to explain. No, I think I no I did. Dude, there's so many things I want to explain. My bad. It's always so hard to get it all out. Like, I feel like I do a pretty good job at explaining things as I go. But in my brain, it's like, there's like a million more things I want to talk about. It's never ending. We're just going to let them take that, and I'm just going to shove mid. Oh, I think they're actually doing Rift. I think they're actually doing Rift. Yeah. That's a smart play. I don't really want to walk over there and face check. I can go like this and play around a tentacle. Ooh, if I hit that, that would be juicy. Ooh, careful. I don't want to walk up for another three seconds, two, one. What's a smart tentacle? We'll be okay. Oh, whoops, I trolled. Bloop. Just gonna get that for vision, walk down here, group up the team. I'm so big right now. Got 30% CDR, I took that CDR rune, so I have 37%. Gonna play off this tentacle behind us. It's kind of far away, so we have to be a little safe here. W, nearby tentacle slams. By the way, when you ultimate, the ooh. The other thing you get when you ultimate is your tentacles no longer have the hitbox. Man, nice dodge, dude. I don't have any tentacles around, so I gotta play this really slow. Now we can go fast. A lally bitch. Oh. Yeah, a lally is kind of a ridiculous champion. <laughs> so what that was is I kited away until I had a tentacle spawn. And then I E'd as they're gonna hit me with everything. So I'm getting CC'd, but I hit the E clone, and then immediately when I'm out of it, I press ultimate. So slams the ground, starts triggering all my slams, and then I'm spam Wing on to the Draven. Because I clone Draven, so the tentacles are going to slam and hit the clone, and I'm going for the real Draven. So I'm doing full damage, plus an additional 45 plus 21%. Boop. So plus an additional 66%, right? So I'm doing 166% damage to Draven. Obviously he has a little bit of armor, so it reduces some of that. But still, that's why that's why this champion deals so much damage. Alright, so I'm gonna go like this. Guess I can sell. It's kinda meh. Uh we can perma split here though. That's probably what I'm gonna try and do. Cause the best thing with this is like once you start getting fed against a tank, who are they gonna send to deal with you? Maybe they might have a good mid lane matchup. Like in this game, they could send Silas to deal with me. But then I still get a TP advantage versus a no TP. And he's still covering me. Right? That's kind of bad. They could potentially do that. Especially if I show. I can't show anymore. I'm supposed to be in bot lane, but he's making a nice play. Yeah. We actually have to go over there. If I showed in bot lane, they 100% do it. I think they're already doing it because he's here. Oh, no. Okay. Never mind. Nice. We'll just walk mid. Push mid. Sweet. Yeah, if I showed bot lane, they would have just started bound for sure. Even though I had TP. And I'd have to use it, obviously. Push the waves. I want to be careful, though. Don't have any tentacles. Got one coming up in 2, 1, 0. Bound. Oh, just fishing for max range. If we kill the clone or they walk out of the range of the clone, they trigger the effect, which is it, it uh, slaps you every 3 seconds. So it spawns. Any tentacles that are nearby will slap every 3 seconds. And he keeps spawning additional tentacles nearby. We just bail here. He might take the Q. Kind of be dumb, to be honest. I can walk in here. I'm just fishing for it. I'm just gonna walk away. I don't really know what this play is. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just really trying to find an E. If I get an E, I can start spawning a billion tentacles in this area. That's really what I'm going for. Otherwise, I can just shove mid or shove bot rather. I want to be careful mana wise though. That's one of the easiest ways to set up all your tentacles though. 
Because remember, we're super weak when we don't have tentacles near, but our E will spawn a bunch of them, right? If we land it and then kill the clone or they walk out of the circle. Oh, well, that's guaranteed. Oh. Ooh, nice dodge. That's bad for me. That was awkward. All right. <laughs> I'll take it. Got a fish for the E. I have like no mana here though. If I hit E, we can do stuff. Not bye bye. All right. Let's just leave. 18 seconds on dragon. We should chub one wave and then back. All right, let's bail. We got an item here. I still have teleport. 10 and 0. What do you know? Allowy smacks tanks. Very good. We can go GA after this as well. Uh, part of me just wants to TP back to it, but I don't think I need to. I don't need to. I shouldn't, right? I can just hold it for when they're actually there. All right, sweet. I'm gonna go pressure the opposite side of the map then. They're taking this. I want to go somewhere else. That way I force the enemy team to have to uh, come get me. Oh my god, this is gonna be so good. 10% <laughs> movement speed increased to 50% for six seconds after casting your ultimate. Bro, I'm gonna ult and I'm gonna be like zooming. 50%, oh my god. I'm already running 422 base. Oh, they camped a bush. I'm running down. Need to get into this real fight. It's okay. Oh my god, how did I miss that with four people around? Oh my god, that's insanely bad. If I landed that, I win so hard. I mean, he's gonna carry this fight really well. Oh, I did so much damage there, but that one play screwed everything. Because I already had a tentacle around, it would have been really juicy. I was actually surprised with how far he pulled me away from his, uh, from my ultimate, or from my original E. Well, and my ultimate, that's where it spawns the tentacles. So when I got all the way over here, I didn't have anything. And I didn't have E up because I already hit it over here and he didn't walk out of the circle either, which was smart. If he did that, he would have started spawning tentacles. I'd have even more up. I just had no tentacles that whole fight. Tentacle, 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 tentacle. I felt like I just said that word a hundred times. <laughs> uh, Alright, still going for a GA. <laughs> yeah, I just gave someone a billion gold right there. That was super bad. Who did I give the gold to? Skarner! I don't care about that. That's fine. That is fine with me. Uh, I could go bot and shove this wave and try and get the 1v1 with him. It's not a bad strat. Hmm. I also just fish for ease. When I say fish for ease, it's like Blitzcrank cooked. If I hit it, good. If not, back up. You know? We shove midwave because we get vision off of this. And they force them to come cover. Now we force them back into this choke. We can get wards here. Start clearing out vision. Slap this. Perfect. We should walk here. Oh! I don't want to actually go into that. We just want to kill this. Oh, all right, now I can. Got E here. Oh, that's a foolish play, my friend. I still have ultimate, so I'm really far ahead here. He should land, he flashed it. I can go in. Someone was spawning uh, tentacles. Oh, that flip was actually really good. Ooh, I right, now we got a bail though. This way, this way, this way. Oh no. Come right here, come right here. Okay, if I can jump over the wall, it'll be golden. My guy, I got him. <laughs> He's so fast, man. I still have my ult up. It'd be very dumb for them to try and fight me. I 
I told you. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> it would be a very dumb idea for them to try and fight me. <laughs> 4v1, don't care, pop. Tentacles everywhere, let's go. I'll take it. All right, let's reset. We can get this. We are very big. Very big. We should just set up around, uh, well, I can split bottom. I think that actually might be the best, seeing how strong I am. That's the play. I go bottom. What a joke. What's well, a joke, my man? This guy got hit by my E, which right now is transferring 76% of the damage. And then he still dove in right into my ultimate and got obliterated. I have to teleport in. This is a legit fight. I have E flash, which is probably going to be necessary here. The E here. Oh, flash. Oh, timeout. Got CC'd. <laughs> That sucked. Oh, that CC ruined everything, dude. <laughs> I got CC'd right as I was pressing ult, and then I was pressing flash. I got CC'd right as I pressed ult, and then I pressed flash right after. And I came out of CC, so I literally flashed, my ult didn't go off, because I was CC'd during it. <coughs> Easy. Now we can just do it for free. Oh, Lee's here. Ooh. Big lead play. Got it. We can chase him. Once he walks out of the circle, he gets slowed, starts spawning all the tentacles. The slam! Let me just body block for you and we're good. And, oh, I was gonna say, how did that go past him? And then I saw the tentacle spawn. We might wanna just go dragon, actually. Yeah, I like that call. I like that call better. All right, let's roll. Get down to the dragon. We can actually maybe pick this guy right here. That's what we should do. Pick, pick, pick. Nah, we should try to pick him. Try it. We can just do it now. I'm gonna queue it, pull it out. Here, here. Oh, okay. It's fine. You just look for ease. Ooh. Really? Imagine, bro. Boom. I'm gonna reset real quick. I think we just reset real fast. I have a lot of gold to spend, man. I have GA in bank. Oh, man. They're going for a 1v3. All right. Oh, that's so bad for them. I can actually kill everybody right now. Oh my god, if I landed that, I'm so bad. Because I just got all these tentacles spawned off of this guy. Oh my god, it's tilting. I'm going to go get blue buff. I really need it. Whoever said I should go uh, Presence of Mind or Mana Flow Band. I see you. I'm spamming so many abilities out with the CDR. It might have been more useful. Guess I run out of it, yeah. We can keep chasing now though. This is easy. All I have to do is ult. Yeah. Look how fast I am with that. Yoink. Do we get execution on that? Oh nice! Oh we do! And then it executed the other thing! <laughs> No way! Dude, it executed this one and it did so much damage that it executed the other one because it put it below, it like, it was at 35%. This was, you know, 30 and then killed, but it made the other one go from like 35 into the kill range. It wouldn't have killed it, obviously, but it triggered the effect by itself. That's ridiculous, dude. I can just walk in. Jesus. Oh. Woo! I want to see my damage, bro. This is ridiculous. Oh, dude, allow me versus things that you can land your E. Very good. I mean, you saw every bad play happened around me missing my E. So, 
if you miss your E a lot, you're screwed. Don't even bother playing the champion. But if you're picking it against things you can land it on, and you're playing decent, and you actually do land it, oh nice. Yeah, I went 3-0 in promo. That was really easy. <laughs> I'll take it. Cool. Diamond 4. But yeah, just super good champion. But, again, pick it into tanks that are pretty slow. Some bruises are okay. Like, you can play against Renekton and stuff, but you have to play it really well. The tanks will just never kill you. That's why I like it against tanks. They're slow. They're giant hitboxes. They most of the time don't have abilities to dodge your E. And then... They can't kill you, really. You could just, like, lifesteal through all of them. Unless you feed early and they have a ton of jungle pressure. Outside of that, you should be fine. But look at this damage. It's just kind of ridiculous. We look at healing done. I did 20,000 healing done as well. I mean, just... Phew! Big damage. 3,000 with Kong, 5,000 here. Taste of Blood, 1,500. You know, tenacity. I have another 3,000. Juicy. Very, very good. Finish with GA here. You can go Visage as well. Visage really good against magic damage. And GA plus the tab, you would give us a good little bit of armor. So Visage would be a nice follow-up, scaling off of our lifesteal from our Q and from this as well. But yeah. Anyways, GG well played. Hope you guys enjoyed that Alawi. Again, use it into tanks or people who are slow and mobile, giant hitboxes, that type of stuff. And then hit your E, stand next to uh, tentacles, press your W over and over again, press your ultimate, obviously. Have a good time. GG Web Play, thanks for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like the video, subscribe for more content like this. If you're watching over on the live stream, make sure to follow the live stream. I stream every single day, 6 a.m. to 12 noon EST. Make sure to follow to be alerted when I go live. Thanks for watching. Peace.